Katrina from the Gorgeous Geeks. I'm standing here right next to the one and only Megan Rath. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. So happy early birthday for one. Ah, thanks. It's really <laughs> early. <laughs> well, I don't know when it's the next time I'll be able to talk to you. Probably on Twitter, but, but well, just want to say you. happy birthday. You got any plans? I don't at all. In fact, you're the like the first person that's reminded me that it's coming up. Oh, all right. Well, cool. No plans. I'm available. <laughs> Okay, so I have to say, when you had that mouse dangling in front of your mouth, how was that? Um, gross. Uh, I'm like obviously not a fan of mice. Um, and then they had the mouse wrangler come in, and Sam Huntington was all over that and was like picking it up. And so uh, seeing him so confident with the mouse helped me to be more confident. So I was fine, it was actually really cute once it, it was in my hand, and then dangling it over my face, it scratched me across my face and like pooed on me about seven times. And I heard that that's how you get staph infections from mouse poo, so I... Wow, you are really dedicated to your job. I'm a warrior. <laughs> okay. Um, in Chicago, Huntington was saying that um, Whitworth was doing some weird things with that uh, corpse that was uh, <laughs> the double corpse. Listen, Casper Vandian is crazy. Um, yeah, they they all were, to be fair, including the crew. I think because my dead corpse was the exact replica of my body, I did a full body cast for it. And Everyone just took it as an opportunity to molest me, which was really disturbing because it was in front of me, and also kind of made me think that was like, oh, is this what everyone's been wanting to do this entire time? Like, you've all been pretending that we're like brother and sister, but now it's your time to just like grope me. So I was a little conflicted because I was like, this is really funny, but like also that's my body. So like, I was weirdly protective about it. Our director was very respectful. He felt like he couldn't really look at it. I don't know. It was a really weird situation. Sounds like a weird situation. You guys were dicks, though. Yeah. Was it weird, like lying next to a corpse a replica of yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because it was really, it really looked similar. Um, our, our makeup team did such a great job making that mold, and so yeah, it was really strangely realistic and. I was like, okay, so that's what I look like, huh? So, any uh, ideas of what Sally is going to go through next season? Can I have to say that, and you acted your butt off during that end scene because you're just climbing on those stairs, like I'm going to make it, and you're getting like dragged to hell, like that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I I really don't know. On Twitter, everyone was saying after that episode aired, everyone was like, oh, Sally was like dragged to hell, and I was like, oh, I didn't even think of it like that, but I, I really don't know. They didn't tell me. They still haven't told me. I know nothing about the next season. I'm not sure. I'm, I like being linked to Donna the Witch because I really like her. Like I like Amy Aquino as an actress and she's just like a fun person to be around. And I love that new element of the show, the witchcraft. So I'm happy to be with her. I don't know where I am though. Well, I think it's really cool because we saw Sally get more powerful this season. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how powerful she really is. Yeah, that was something that uh, was really important to me this season, especially when Sally became a ghost again. I didn't want to be put back in the same situation of feeling helpless because she's gone through so much and she's learned so much that, you know, at a certain point, she is going to be becoming more powerful and confident. and. When you've lost so much and when you've lived so much, you just like stop giving a shit at one point. You start standing up for yourself, and I think that's where Sally is now. Now, we're the gorgeous geeks. We're all about being proud of being geeky. What is the geekiest thing about you? Um, well, I'm a pretty big Lost fan, like hugely. It's embarrassing, and that's why I was so happy when Mark Pellegrino was on our show. <gasps> and. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really, really good at Mario Party and Mario Kart and Donkey Kong. The N64 is um, pretty great. I grew up around a brother who's the biggest comic book nerd in the world, so I've read a lot of the comic books. My mother's a huge Star Trek fan, so I'm one of you. Okay. Well, have you seen the new Star Trek movie yet? I haven't. Yeah. Is it? Did you like it? Oh, yeah. All right. All right, well, thank you, Megan. Thanks. <laughs>